Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about who, or giving my predictions on who I think is going to be each weight division in the UFC's champion at the end of 2024. It's just my predictions, obviously I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on it, just give your comments in the in the comment section obviously below the video. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the female weight divisions. Uh, I've actually got new champions in each of the divisions so this is hope what i predict will be quite an exciting time for the female divisions uh so for straw weight which is obviously 115 pound we i have uh tatiana suarez tatiana suarez has just come back from injury last year she had a lot of injuries uh in previous years she hasn't she didn't fight in i think three years maybe before she returned this year uh, she looks amazing in her comeback fight. She's beaten Andrade. Uh, she's fighting Amanda Lemos in her next fight, which I think if she wins that, she'll then get title shot. And I think it'd be really close between her and Zhang Wei Li. I... <laughs> it's difficult to say who I think will win that fight because Zhang's so good in the stand-up, but I think Tatiana Suarez has okay stand up not anywhere near as good as Zhang Wei Li's I don't think but even though Zhang Wei Li is a really good wrestler I think Tatiana Suarez's wrestling is on another level and I can just see I think Zhang will defend her title in China at some point next year or in Asia somewhere next year but then I think in the latter half of next year I expect Tatiana Suarez to realise her potential and I think she will be able to beat Zhang Wei Li then in the flyweight division, which is £125, I have Erin Blanchfield. She's been waiting this year for the whole Grasso versus Shevchenko thing to unwind. She beat, earlier this year, she beat Jessica Andrade again. She's lost a couple times this year, Jessica Andrade, but to the elite of the elite, I believe. So she beat Jessica Andrade earlier this year, I think it's second round submission. And then she beat Talia Santos, who took Valentina Shevchenko to a really close fate, fight Sorry, last year in Singapore, last year, 2022, I think it was May. So she took her to a really close fight. I think Blanchfield is a really good wrestler as well. I think she has really high potential. I think she has a decent stand-up game as well. Um... And yeah, so I think this year Grasso and Grasso and Shevchenko, sorry, are going to sort out their thing. They're going to have a trilogy in the first half of next year, hopefully. And then I see they could potentially fight UFC three hundred. I probably uh, they fight in September, so it's a nice seven months there. They could fight in UFC three hundred, and then Aaron Blanchfield's fighting Manon Finero, who beat. Uh, Rose Namajunas in September and then I think the winner of those two will fight each other I think it'll be Blanchfield against Alexa Grasso I'm going to say I'm going to say Blanchfield against Alexa Grasso in my opinion and then I think Blanchfield will come out on top in that one I think she just has better wrestling than Grasso even though Grasso is really well rounded she's predominantly a boxer but she has good or she submitted Valentina Shevchenko, so she's obviously decent on the ground. But I just think Blanchfield's on another level, and I do think Blanchfield will be able to beat Alexa Grasso. Then in the bantamweight division, obviously that title was vacant this year. Uh, after Amanda Nunes vacated her title, uh, it's going to be Maya Bueno Silva against Raquel Pennington. I think Bueno Silva might win that fight. I think she looked good in her fight against Holly Holm. She submitted Holly Holm with a choke. She she looks quite talented, I think. Um, I think the winner of that will then fight Raquel Pennington, if Raquel Pennington gets a title shot, because she's been quite stubborn and only waiting for the title. I think Bruno Silva will beat Pennington, and I think by the end of the year, Mayor Bruno Silva will be the bantamweight champion in the UFC female divisions and then we move on to the men's categories I've got flyweight first obviously and I've got Brandon Moreno um, 
obviously lost his title last year to Alejandro Pantojo. He also weighed in as backup for Pantojo's title defence against uh, Brandon Royval. Moreno has a fight against Amir Albazi in February in Mexico, which is the headline of that fight, of that fight card, sorry. Uh, so big fight. If he wins that, he's expected to get another title shot. Um, and I think you, it, it was so close last time, their fight. I think Brandon Moreno might be able to make the adjustments because he keeps on improving on every fight. And I just think Brandon Moreno may be able to make the adjustments and... I'd like to see Brandon Moreno come out on top on that fight. I really like Brandon Moreno. Um, I think he's an elite, elite feather, flyweight, sorry. And I just think eventually he's going to have to beat Pantoja. He's lost to Pantoja three times. I think it could be like a Israel Adesanya against uh, Pereira sort of thing. Lost him three times and then he gets the win in the fourth fight. I'd like to see Brandon Moreno get that win. Um, I think Brandon Moreno is a really talented fighter and I think he will beat Albazi and then beat Pantoja and then potentially have another fight at some point in the year. And that could be fight of the year sort of stuff, really. Then we've got for Bantamweight, I'm going to say Sean O'Malley, probably. I think Sean O'Malley beats Marlon Vera. Um, they're fighting in March on a stacked Miami card, UFC 299. Can't wait for that event. I back O'Malley to win that fight. And then the second fight, because I think all of these fighters will probably have two fights. If they have a third fight, then they'll be surprising me. I think O'Malley will then fight... O'Malley will then fight the winner of Cejudo against... Uh, Marab Valashvili, I think, and I think Marab will probably win that fight. I back Marab to win that fight. Uh, it'll be a close fight, but I'm going to say Marab wins the fight. That's my prediction. His cardio is just too much, I think. I think he, um, his wrestling is probably better than Aljamain Sterling's, and I think um, that constant pressure on Cejudo, he might not be able to deal with it, and I think Marab will probably be able to win that fight. If Cejudo doesn't pull out, he pulled out against Chito Vera. Uh, we don't know what the injury was, so I wouldn't be surprised if it just wasn't a big enough fight for Cejudo. So he felt like he didn't want to fight Vera. Uh, but obviously he's fighting uh, Marab now. I back Marab to come through that, like I've just said. And then I see O'Malley versus Marab having a fight. And... Uh, yeah, so I back them to have a fight. And then I think... O'Malley probably wins that fight. I think he'll be able to... I think he's got decent takedown defence, which he showed against Aljamain Sterling. And I also think... I can't unsee that knockout of Aljamain Sterling, and I think that might... A similar thing might be able to happen with Marab, where he just times him coming in. And... Because he's got better takedown defence than Pete Yan, I feel like. And I feel like O'Malley will be able to time coming in like I just said and I wouldn't be surprised if O'Malley so the champion um, at the end of 2024 and that's the first champion I've predicted will stay the same I've predicted a couple champions will stay the same but I've also predicted a couple more will change featherweight I've said Volkanovski's going to win and keep his title at featherweight I th he's fighting uh, Ilya Tapuria in February I feel like he might be able to I don't know, I think it might be a bit too soon for Volkanovski after his loss to Makashev. But then I feel like Volkanovski, because of how dominant he's been, he'll probably be able to get an immediate rematch. And then I feel, and because he took that short notice fight against Makashev, I feel like the company will want to do him a favour, really. Um, and then I think at the back end of the year, he'll probably fight Tapuria again. And I back him to come through that fight and beat Tapuria. So, although Tapuria could win, I see this fight as such 50-50. And I've literally gone between Tapuria and Volkanovski so many times. I'm just going to say Volkanovski probably wins it. Because I think I like Volkanovski's mindset. And I think he'll be able to come back from what I predict to be a defeat against Tapuria and win the fight. Uh, he might just beat Tapuria and then defend against someone else. I don't know. I just want to see what happens in that division. I'm really excited about that division. 
I think Tapuria is potentially the hardest test Volkanovski's had because he's well-rounded everywhere, like Volkanovski. But I'm going to say Volkanovski wins against Tapuria and retains his title for uh, the end of 2024. Then at lightweight, we got Islam Makashev. I think he's going to continue to be the champion. I think... So, I predict him to fight Justin Gaethje midway through the year because I don't think he's going to be able to fight before Ramadan. And he's spoken about wanting to fight Justin Gaethje because he doesn't want to fight Sarukian or Oliveira because they're both rematches. I then predict in Abu Dhabi him to fight... I predict him to fight um, the winner of Oliveira against Sarukian, which has been t spoken about. I think that will potentially be a fight that goes on UFC 300. That's a fight I'd like to see at UFC 300. And that's what I think for that one. I think... I think either one of those that come through will probably lose to Makashev again, I think. I think Makashev's just on another level. He's just so well-rounded and he's just so good in all areas of his game. Um... Yeah, I could see him beating Oliveira. I could see him beating Sorukian. I just feel like after that, potentially he'll move up in weight because he's big. He's so good. I rate Makashev really highly. But I think he'll lose to who I think is going to be the welterweight champion, uh, who's Leon Edwards. I think Leon Edwards will continue to be the welterweight champion. I think he'll fight Bilal Mohamed at some point, uh, first half of next year, potentially in London. I think he'll beat Bilal Mohamed and then I think he'll fight Shavkat Rachmanov and I think he'll beat Shavkat Rachmanov potentially in Abu Dhabi on the same card as Makashev against the winner of Sorukin and um, Oliveira, sorry. And I would like to see them fight on the same card and then they both get to fight each other hopefully for Islam Makashev in the f before Ramadan of the next year. Um, yeah, I could see that fight happening. But I think Edwards is going to beat Rachmanov and Bilal Mohamed. I'm slightly less sure against the Rach about the Rachmanov fight. But I just have a feeling Edwards is like on another level compared to everyone else in the Worldway division. Um, or maybe not on another level to Rachmanov. I think Rachmanov is probably number two in the division. But I feel like Edwards could probably beat him. Uh, then I'm going to talk about middleweight division. Obviously, we've got the fight with Sean Strickland against uh, Drickus de Plessis in January in Canada. And then the winner of that, I believe, is going to fight the winner of a fight that I think is going to get made, which is Adesanya against Shamayev. Well, I hope that's going to get made. Adesanya spoken recently about returning soon. So, like I said in previous videos, I think he will return this year. And I would like to see Islam Makashev, or not Islam Makashev, sorry. I'd like to, fight Ad I'd like to see Adesanya fight um, Isl um, Shemaev, Hamzat Shemaev. I'd like to see him fight Hamzat Shemaev. Potentially UFC 300, I think that'd be a good main event. Oh, main, not main event, main card fight. And I back Adesanya to come through that. We've obviously seen Shemaev's problems with his cardio. And I just feel like Adesanya will be able to defend some of the takedowns against Makash uh, against Shemaev. Sorry, not Makashev. I feel like he'll be able to defend some of the takedowns. And I feel like he'll be able to get into the later rounds of the fight. He might be losing when it comes into the fourth and fifth round. If they have a five-rounder, I could see it being a five-rounder. I can't see uh, Adesanya fighting a three-rounder but if they do fight a five-rounder I could see Adesanya coming through that in the later rounds and then he'll fight the winner of Duplessis against Sean Strickland and I believe Adesanya will beat I think Adesanya will beat Sean Strickland I'm gonna say he rematches Sean Strickland because Sean Strickland I think is going to win the fight. I think his pressure against Duplessis will be too much. I know they've both got good cardio, especially Duplessis after he's sorted his nose out. He can breathe more easy now. He can nose breathe. But I do feel like Sean Strickland will be able to beat him. I feel like Sean Strickland's got good takedown defence and I think he's a better stand-up fighter than Drickus. So I think Sean Strickland will get through that fight. The only issue would be Sean Strickland's temperament coming into the fight because he's 
lost his temper a couple of times. Obviously, that fight in the crowd with UFC 296. And obviously, at the press conference, he seemed to get uh, visibly frustrated at Duplessis. Uh, so, that fight could go either way, I think. But I feel like the winner of that will fight Adesanya and Adesanya will win that fight. And then Adesanya will be the middleweight champion by the end of 2024. Then at light heavyweight, I'm going to say Magomed Ankalaev. I haven't been impressed with Magomed Ankalaev recently. But I back him to defeat Johnny Walker. And then I back him to get a title shot after that fight. He'll fight... Um... The winner of Alex Pereira against Jamal Hill. And I think Alex Pereira will win that fight. And then I back uh, Magomed Ankalaev to be able to take him down. And just, I think Magomed Ankalaev will be by far the best wrestler that Alex Pereira has ever faced in MMA. And I could see him being able to take down Alex Pereira and just hold him down there. He'll have some trouble getting him down, potentially. Um, especially coming trying to get close to Alex Pereira because of Alex Pereira's amazing kickboxing. But I feel like Magomed Ankalaev will probably be able to win that fight. And the only apprehension I have when talking about Magomed Ankalaev as being the UFC light heavyweight champion would be the UFC don't promote him as well as some of the other stars in the light heavyweight division because he's because of his, I wouldn't say boring style, but it's not the most entertaining style, like his fight against Blahovic. He fought to a draw in that title fight, but I'm going to say he gets a win over Johnny Walker in, I think that fight's January, and then he gets the fight against Alex Pereira, and then is able to take Alex Pereira down. Then at heavyweight, I'm going to say Tom Aspinall. I think John Jones will beat Stipe Miocic, but then I think he'll retire. I don't think he'll fight Tom Aspinall. I think Tom Aspinall will fight uh, Sil Gan some point next year, potentially first half of next year, maybe in London. And then he'll fight the winner of Blades against Almeida. I think that will be Curtis Blades. I just think Curtis Blades is going to be too strong for Almeida to take down. And I think Curtis Blades has better stand up. And then they'll have a rematch of that fight that obviously Aspinall injured his knee in. And I think Aspinall will win that fight. And then that's how I think it's going to go. But potentially John Jones could fight Miocic, beat Miocic and then fight Tom Aspinall. I don't see that happening. But if that did happen, I think Tom Aspinall will be able to beat John Jones. It's a very good fight, by the way but be able to give John Jones the first loss of his career. That's just how I predict it to go. Um, thank you guys for listening. Please all give your comments in the comment section below. Tell me who you think is going to be the champion at the end of 2024 in each weight division. I'm interested to hear your opinion. Uh, thank you guys. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.